So this next question is a difficult question, it's eight marks, and it's discussed the cause, transmission, and social implication of AIDS. And because I've broken down this question into cause, transmission, social implications, you want to divide those eight points up into three different categories, each being roughly three to four points each. Moving straight on into the cause. AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, and it's caused by the HIV or the human immunodeficiency virus. It's kind of like how if you have the flu, it's caused by the influenza virus. One's a disease, one's is the pathogen. The way that it works is that HIV enters the T lymphocytes and actually destroys these, causing a decrease in T lymphocytes over the long term. You don't have to know that it's T lymphocytes, but T lymphocytes, they just help the immune system to fight infections. And the ultimate effect of this decreased ability to fight infections is decreased immunity. So you want to write that down as, um, as an effect of HIV as well. The way that AIDS is involved is that AIDS, the disease, occurs when the host's immune system is um, really compromised, such that basic diseases such as the common cold, the flu, they can cause a really devastating kind of illness to these HIV-positive individuals. They can get really, really sick. So those are a few points for cause. Plenty. Should be plenty to get your three or four points. Now we're going to talk about transmission, and HIV is passed via bodily fluids, that's the main way, and you can list the different methods. Um, these could, this could include sexual intercourse, both uh, vaginally as well as anally. Um, other ways to transfer bodily fluids include blood transfusions through tattoos, um, and if you label a few of these, then you will get the marks for it. Um, another interesting point that you can put down is that um, that mechanical methods of of, uh, pre of protection can prevent HIV transmission, but obviously only for sexual intercourse. There's no point wearing a condom if you're if you are having a tattoo, for example. I seem to remember that the transmission side of things for this particular question was was kind of a difficult to get full marks in, and it wasn't intuitive. Um, for example, listing the different um, causes only gives you one mark, but uh, anyway. Um, we can now move on to implications or the effects of, um, of AIDS on humans. So you have to think of these in terms of functional effects. For example, the loss of income because HIV-positive individuals won't be able to get jobs because employees don't trust them. They have decreased birth rates because families are scared of spreading the virus, so they decrease their sexual intercourse rates. And finally, you might have discrimination against HIV-positive individuals, not so in which it might be excluding um, jobs, it might be um, due to relationships which are non-sexual, or it might be to do with um, building up connections for business, etc. Um, so, big question, but it shouldn't be hard to get all the marks for this one. Um, all up, you only need to get eight marks, and as long as you get two to three points in each, you'll comfortably get them.